Hello everybody, my name is Anthony and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis for for Odin. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So what are we what are we doing? We you know we're fabricating claims on Novgorod on Sweden because we are going to attack them eventually. Uh we were still improving relations with the Ottomans, and I think that was for a mission, but I'm pretty sure we're not doing that mission anymore. No, we're trying to get naval racers to Sweden, so I don't think it's really beneficial for him to be there. And let's look at aggressive expansion, which I think is going to be why. Yeah, there we go. So let's see, Poland's at 37, Sweden's up 68, 39. I mean, other than Poland, nobody is, like, really going to form a coalition against so Sweden. I don't care if they're in a coalition, really. It, it doesn't matter too, too much to me. So I think we might just improve relations with Poland. But again, they hate us so much, I don't think it's actually going to make a difference. It goes down by three per year, so... Does it go down with three for... It does go down with three for everybody, so... And when do our truces expire with Sweden? So that, that's the, uh, Sloans. Our truces with Sweden will expire in 28, so five years. So that's, what, 15? <clears throat> down from already what this is? So, I mean, it should be fine basically everywhere. Uh, Livonia, we're probably going to attack early next year. So our truces with Sweden expires actually earlier than our truces with Novgorod, so we might just attack Sweden directly. I don't think we're going to need Muscovy's help for a second war, unless they stay allied, which they haven't. I might have made them a null treaties. I really don't remember. It was a few days ago. We finished our mission to do a naval race, even though we weren't building any boats, I think. Conquer Friesland, don't want to do that. Move like, none of these, I don't want to attack into the Empire. For, for obvious reasons of that, I don't want to deal with Austria right now. Like, if, if the Emperor changed to anybody else, then, you know what? I, I, might, I might think about it, you know, go take Friesland, go remove Oldenburg. But as of right now, those don't really seem as if they're in the cards. So, let's kind of ignore those. Okay, so who do we want to improve relations with? Or, you know, fabricate claims against? I don't really think there's anybody we want to fabricate claims against. I don't think there's anybody who will really ally us. We, we still got Cologne as an ally. Austria making them not actually hate us? Yeah, well, let's, let's uh, improve relations, I guess, with Austria. What, let's see, what's it already at? It's already at 91, so actually that might not make sense. How about France? We haven't improved relations with the French in a long, long time. I mean, they're... No, Muscovy's rivaling them. But we'll improve relations a little bit. Do we have insulted? No, we don't have insulted, so we actually probably should have insulted somebody instead of really improving relations here, so... We'll return him back. We'll go to some... Which rival do we not have a truce with? Oh yeah, we don't have, we have truce with all of our rivals. Except for Poland, I think. Because I don't know when it would have been a war Poland. Yeah, so we'll, we'll insult them in about a week. Get us up to 45, even though it's not like super, super important. I mean, we could like embargo, not embargo, we should uh, support rebels somewhere. That would get us a little bit more power projection. And who would we support rebels in? I guess still, I mean, we'll see which one's the cheapest. Like, if we go to support Rebels, 15, like, Sammy Separatist, that'll take 2.3, we're, we're making 12, so, as long as I get this, I get this to 59. Okay, that doesn't really help us too much then. I think it's based on how much money we're spending. So, if we go, just to fix this, I have, let's go to Novgorod then. Support Rebels. 9, okay, 9.2 we can't definitely, we can't definitely can't spend that much. Poland, uh, support rebels. Like a 4.5 Teutonic Separatist. That should get us up. Yeah, there we go, 53. And they don't have any chance. Actually, can we see them? If you see Memo, but you can't actually see the revolt risk for some reason. No, 3.7. So we are barely putting them above zero for Separatists. So that's good. And this army actually wasn't there. Then it would be a little bit higher. Are you a trade ship? You are a trade ship. Why are you not protecting Lubeck? What are you guys? You are transport, so you should go dock. You are protecting trade, so everybody's protecting trade or, you know, doing what they need to do. So there are 91 ducats. What I wanted to also do is I wanted to build a bunch of, you know, force buildings. You know, like docks and, uh, regiment camps. I have, we, like, they're really expensive though. They're 200 each. And who's Austria at war with? They're at war with Poland, Lithuania, Moldovia. I don't know why. Why are you at war? 
You were at war for the Austrian colonists of Holstein. Oh yeah, Austria has like Lubeck. I still don't know 100% sure why they do. Finn. Where is Finn? It's this one. So we can either get 100% tax, 100% manpower. I mean, tax is at 0.29. Um, trade power is at 4.5. And then manpower. I guess manpower would actually maybe the be the best. Because we're only making a decent amount of money. Having more soldiers would be better. And actually what we should be doing is we should be shipping these troops off to like Riga. We'll, we'll increase spending because we're going to definitely need to do that. To get ready. To basically just probably annex the rest of Livonia. Do we have claims on the entire... We do have claims on the entire country. I don't think they're allied to anybody... Oh, they're, they're allied to the Polish. And Brandenburg. So maybe it wouldn't be a great idea. Let's lower maintenance maybe like half. While, while we reconsider what we're going to do. I oh, know these are the wrong boats. I want you guys to go back here. Okay, so our truce with them has expired. Well, can we fight the Polish? Like, I have a feeling that the answer is no, we can't. Uh, let's look at biggest armies. So... I mean, he doesn't even show up here. I mean, we show up, right? 24,000, but Poland... I know, they're there, they're 17. Lithuania also does not show up. And I'm assuming there's no way I can get, like, Muscovy or anything to join, because if we get Muscovy involved, that would be really good. Who are these guys? Pretender rebels. See, how many guys actually do come here? Transport. We'll see what. I guess we'll just go back under. And you guys, Muscovy. If I declared war on Livonia, would you say yes? They would say yes if we paid them. Or we got the 10 favors. How many favors do we have with Muscovy? We have 13. So I feel like that would be fine. And I'm assuming we have like, no favors for anybody else. Like, Cologne's got eight. I think... Who else are we allied to? Hamburg? We can just make them more, uh... More trusting of us. I mean, it wouldn't be a bad idea, would it? Like, I don't think we're going to use Hamburg in a war anytime soon. So I think we might just... Booster trust by five. Just so they, they trust us more. So let's declare a war on Livonia. We'll call in Muscovy. Just on favor. So we don't need to, we don't need to give them any actual land. And we can actually get some territory off of Poland, too. And once our mission expires, no mission until the first. You know, so we'll see what's going to happen. But Livonia, we're going to declare war. We're going to call Muscovy in. I mean, might as well wait for, like, I guess all our troops should just get over there, right? And increase military spending again. Put that to max. So Muscovy has, what, 26,000 men there? They have 19,000 over there. So I think, is it G that combines? What's the combine button? Okay, there are 10, okay, it is G, but they're considered automatically transporting, so. And uh, Brandenburg has eight troops. Yeah, we don't have any force down here, but that's fine. I'm pretty sure we're not going to worry about it too, too much. Okay, so Livonia, I think we're good. We're going to call in Muscovy on favors. Uh, we're just going to say we're going to take Leafland. It doesn't really matter. We have claims on the entire country, so. Do we have a general? Um, we have a 114 and a... One... Our generals suck. Like, they're really... We have 42 army tradition, and the best we can get is a 2-1. Like, that seems really, really, really bad. Can we get... Like, how are we... We're, seven, we're, like, seven years ahead of time military, so I think we can just afford to... Yeah, one four and four. That sounds much better. And he also has siege value as well, so let's... I guess, okay, so it automatically turned on all of the forts. Which is good, but on the other hand, we don't need, like... This fort doesn't need to be on. This one doesn't need to be on. Skane. You know, we'll leave Skane on. We'll leave these ones on down here. Other than that, I think we should be fine. So Muscovy's involved in the war. I don't know why their name hasn't turned uh, blue yet. 
And who else is in the war? Brandenburg, Poland, Moldovia is also, you know, their vassal. Or is Moldovia a march? Yeah, they're a march. So we'll come up here, we'll basically kill all of them. All of a sudden they have no troops. Let you guys go to Black Kings. You use March to Black Kings. Um, combine. Leave a siege behind. We'll kill this army. Oh, where, are they, where are they shadow retreating to? I have no idea, but they're going somewhere. We have Conquest of Novgorod, which is nice. Uh, I guess we'll just, you know, fabricate more claims. On uh, It doesn't really matter what we fabricate claims on. Let's fabricate claims on, you know, what whatever looks good, basically. So you have a small stack over here. I mean, yeah, they can, they can just... No, they're still shattering, so they're probably going deep into Poland. Conquer Freeze. I mean, we'll just cycle through the missions again, because I still don't want to do that. Yeah, and I guess we'll just go straight to Riga. It is a fort, so they're going to have to go there eventually. Where's Moscow be going? Where, where are you going? Why are you going the long way? Just go through Lithuania. I mean, Lithuania actually has a lot of forts on their border, so... Poland also, has a, they have a ton of forts over there. Which is definitely not good for us. We can claim on Memo, which is good, because that's actually, you know, we're at war with them. So it's six transport. We need to actually get our... Yeah, we actually, unless we can retreat fast enough on the 16th. Yeah, we're just going to have to retreat. I don't want to lose any troops. Or, I guess you might as well just go back to protecting trade. Like, they don't have a big navy, do they? Yeah, they have no navy whatsoever, so we should be fine. And we have a heavy on our side. Moscovy actually has a heavy. I don't know why they would have a heavy. They only have, like, one port. You know what? They can do whatever they want. I'm not going to judge them. Oh, do, do one of our guys have it set to attach? No. Okay, so I have no I have no clue where they're going then. No, don't attach to me. No, go away. I don't know. I don't want you take I don't want you giving me more attrition than I need to take, so. You go do something. So yeah, so they're sieging down here. How many troops do they have? Thirty one thousand? Livonia, Brandenburg's twelve, Poland. Like they don't have a lot of men. Which is good. Are you guys mostly cannons? You're four three three. I mean, you might as well just go siege down one of these forts. How many guys do we need to maintain the siege here? I mean, we have enough with the, uh... Yeah, okay, I guess we'll just all just stay there then. So got a 16... Actually, with the 16 stack, I guess maybe we should not be, uh... Near here at all. We'll just kind of maintain these two sieges. But what we could do is actually just kill them. And I feel like that would be better for us. So, combine. Riga is woods. This province over here is grass. We should actually just avoid the ninth stack. Go straight to... They also have four maneuver. Can we go up and around? No, we have to go... Well, we can go like that. I don't think there's a river between these two provinces, right? Yeah, okay, so we'll, we'll go like this way, we'll go through. Oh, then I guess we're just going to do that. So we got a 0 3 2, 0 2 4. Maybe, maybe we should have just fought them independently. So now it's going to be a little bit of a harder fight. But I'm pretty sure we might still win. I mean, Brandenburg has strong troops. That's like kind of one of their things, is that their armies are really good. But I think with a 15 5 4 against. 13, 4, 1. I think our cannon number is just going to definitely help us out. Yeah, there we go. Two war score. They're going to shadow retreat probably all the way back to... Is this not going to get flipped? Oh, because this actually does not have a fort, so that's not going to get flipped back. Oh, we have a fort here too, so we can actually just leave. So how much war score is taking all of it? It's 60 war score to take all of this land. Taking Memel would be nice as well. If we have a claim on it, like, we might as well. It'll weaken, it'll weaken Poland, which is good for us, because a weak Poland is definitely something that we want. How many cans do we need? It is... Oh, we're getting the full bonus right now, so... 
I guess that's three one. No, we need three times this. We need at least six thousand troops to maintain that siege. So combine one, two, three, four. Like six like that, and you can go up there. You should be able to maintain the siege. You're gonna probably have to fight the one stack. So you might want to send like one more infantry over there. 10 one, 3 yeah, that's, that's still fine. Because they're not going to have enough troops to do the siege, but now they will combine. So did Muscovy lose a battle? They did lose a battle against, Lu against Lu Lithuanians. Now they're going to go fight an 8 stack over here. Can they engage us or do they need to go to Riga first? I don't think they can actually fight any of these armies. But we, we will see. Lose 10 prestige or lose 50. Ah, we're at war right now. So I feel like we can't take. Can't take that. Uh, military act. Yeah, I'll straight have military access. Sure, why not? Did they take Mecklenburg? Oh, they took so much land. Like, it's, it's not good. And they're not even at war with anybody. So I don't even know why they want military access. Unless they just gave us military access. But I doubt it. Yeah, no. So are we still claiming all this land? Yeah, okay, we are. So they have 5,000 men here. Their armies are kind of just doing whatever, I guess. 10 loyalty, 10 influence. Will that uh, upset the balance of power? It, will, it, will, it won't. Merchant guilds, yeah, no, it'll be fine. And more trade efficiency too, so it just seems like it's a net positive. He's going to kill that. We're 21% on the capital. So that should fall very, very soon. And for some reason, they haven't occupied these two territories, which are completely up for grabs. There's nobody even near there for them to actually... Once abilities are five mercantilism. But we lose... I mean, we'd, we'd fire these guys. We could just hire them back, right? One stability, I mean, we're already at plus one stability and five more tantalism. Sounds like it's really, really good, so. I feel like that's probably a, uh, a net positive. Okay, so we took the capital. We'll combine. Consolidate. Leave behind a brigade or division. How many cans do you need? It's like one, one, four. So leave behind three more cannons. Just so you get your bonus. So, right, these guys, these guys can come by. And I guess we'll just, I mean, I don't want to loot here. Because this is going to be our territory. And having it be, you know, really, really weak. Sounds like it's a bad idea. Okay, so they're going to Riga. I really wish the Muscovy, the Musk, like, the Russians, I guess, could just, like, organize their armies a little bit better. Okay, Muscovy, I'm going to try to help you out. You have no general. I mean, they're going to take... Uh, no, they're not going to take a tra straight crossing. Because there's... Do not die. Do not die. Do not die. Okay, thank you. I'll lose 35 of each points. That went really, really poorly. So we'll consolidate. Leave behind guys again. So we have 29. I guess we'll go, we'll go combine with Muscovy. Or at least make sure that the Muscov like Muscovy doesn't lose all their army. Okay, where are you guys going? Are you going north? No, they're not. I don't know exactly where they're going. Uh, we can call in Cologne. Do we have 10 favors? We do have 10 favors, but I don't, I don't feel like we need them in the war right now. So we'll just kind of ignore them. Okay, so we took a province. I mean, we might be able to stay here and loot this province because we're probably not going to take this one. If I had to take a guess. Okay, so Muscovy, I just want you to stay around here. Don't make any, like, stupid decisions and go try to attack the, Lithuan the Lithuanians in their own territory. That probably isn't going to work out in your favor. Also, just kind of sit in one spot and just siege it down. I don't think that's really... Insanely complicated. Yeah, so their entire army's in like the south. We are in the north. By 29, we'll just uh We'll have a hundred percent war score, so it's not gonna be a big issue. As long as we can just basically hold out long enough. 
But I do think that this is going to be the end of this video, so thanks everybody for watching. My name's been Anthem. If you've enjoyed, more the thumbs up. If you're not enjoying, you can always thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.